studio quality sound for less than two dollars i know it's hard to believe and doesn't make any sense to you but trust me guys from the bottom of my heart i'm not gonna lie to you we are currently recording with the microphone i made and this is the sound quality you will get with this microphone and my setup today i'm gonna show you how i made this microphone and what i did to achieve this sound i found a way to record good quality audio without breaking the bank so i would like to share my findings with you Spend a few minutes with me, I promise I'm not going to waste your time. I've done many videos with the same microphone and the same setup. You can check that out, I put the link in the description below. By the way, the way we talk, you already know the sound quality of it. So let's dive in. Here is my microphone. I used a steel tubing as the body of the microphone because it's rigid and feels good on my hands. You can use any material of your choice, that's not a big deal. Inside the steel tubing, I placed a condenser lactate capsule. I attached that with a 3M dual sided tape. It's a rubbery kind of material so it holds the capsule and at the same time it isolates the vibrations getting into the capsule from the steel tubing. I choose the condenser lactate capsule because it's got a nice frequency response, easy to implement and it was very inexpensive. I got it for 8 Indian rupees which is almost around 9.6 cents. You can find this type of microphone capsule on many recording equipment, headphones, loud mics, audio calibration mics, etc. I'm not saying everybody is using the 9 cents capsule, what I'm saying is, spec may vary but the technology is the same. The interesting fact is that we only need two wires and a TR stack to interface the capsule with your computer. To do that, I used a two core shielded cable containing twisted wires with a shield wrapped around them. This setup proves to be the best option for handling audio signals and increasing noise immunity. I connected the positive terminal of the capsule to both the tip and ring of the TR stack using the red wire, the ground terminal is linked to the sleeve of the TR stack with the black wire and the shield is also connected to the sleeve of the TR stack. The primary role of the shield is to protect the inner conductors from external interference. Notably, it's connected exclusively to the sleeve at one end, ensuring it's not connected on the other side to prevent potential ground loop issues. 18 cents for the jack, 9.6 cents for the capsule, one and a half dollar for the two and a half meter cable, a dollar and a 77 cents in total. What do you think? I told you we were gonna do it for less than two dollars, and we did it. Now I'm gonna show you, like I promised, we're gonna record studio quality sound with the dollar and a 77 cents microphone that we built. Okay, let's talk about the recording. I'm gonna plug the microphone, yeah, here the pop-up comes, okay buddy. Go to the Realtag audio console. You can find similar settings in your computer's audio configuration, maybe your audio interface or sound card is different, but it's there. Go to the mic settings, turn up the main volume, put the microphone boost to positive 10 dB, which is the gain settings. Here, the bigger is not always better. If you boost it bigger, mic clip your audio, which is very bad and a crappy sound. If you keep it all the way down, makes the recording so quiet, you can't hear anything. So you have to find a better balance without clipping the signal. For me, it's positive 10 dB. And turn off all these things, noise suppression, beam forming, blah blah blah, who cares about it? Put the sampling rate to the maximum, that's it. For recording, we're gonna use Audacity. Don't worry, it's a free program packed with powerful stuff. On Audacity, go to Audio Setup and Audio Settings. On the Audio Settings, look for Quality tab and put the project and the default sample rate to 88.2 kHz. And the sample format, 32 bit float. Then click OK, good to go. This is my rule to get the best recording, noise reduction, limiter, normalize, equalize, compression, and effects and processing. Let me show you that in action. Normally for clean dialogues, we need a quiet and acoustically treated room that we don't have right now. Otherwise, it will take a long time to edit and remove the background noise. But this is 2024, the era of AI. To clean up all that in real time, we have an amazing free tool called NVIDIA RTX Voice which is available if you have an NVIDIA GPU on your system. Here is the RTX voice. Now it's on default, which means it takes the current input of my computer. In my case, it's the mic input at the front panel. Or you can manually select the input of your choice by clicking over here and select the input. Make sure the noise suppression is enabled and the slider is dragged all the way to the right. Now the RTX voice will handle one of my rules, noise reduction in real time and it will clean up all the background noise for you. Then back to the Audacity, go to Audio Setup and Recording Devices, select the microphone and video RTX voice. Recording channels in mono and then press record. You are watching Curiosity Idea Imagination and Designs. Studio quality is on for less than $2. DIY microphone match. Now I'm gonna play it back. You are watching Curiosity, Idea, Imagination and Designs. Studio quality sound for less than $2. DIY microphone magic. 
And this is how it looks by completing just one of my rules. And we're gonna get far better than this by applying all of my rules. So I need you to trust me and stab with me. Let's apply the second rule, the limiter. As per the waveform, it's very clean and there are no peaks. So we can skip the rule. However, if your audio contains peaks like this one, then you have to apply the limiter before going to the next rule. So select the recording, go to effect, volume and compression, limiter, set how many decibels you want to reduce the peaks. The goal here is to reduce the peaking amplitude throughout the audio and prepare for normalization. Okay, move on to the third rule, normalize. So select the recording, control A to select all, go to effect, volume and compression, normalize. Then set the limit to minus 3 dB because we need some headroom for the EQ. And apply, and this is the output with the noise reduction and normalization. I'm gonna play it back. You are watching Curiosity Idea Imagination and Designs. Studio quality sound for less than $2. DIY microphone magic. Okay, let's apply my fourth rule, EQ. So go to effect and EQ and filters, bass and treble, and add 3 dB to the bass and 3 dB to the treble for the male voice. Adding the bass for the female voice is not a good idea, so you have to find a sweet spot for that. And never crank up the EQ. Just a smooth little touch is enough. Now this is with the noise reduction, normalization, and equalization applied. Let's play it back. You are watching Curiosity Idea Imagination and Designs. Studio quality sound for less than $2. DIY microphone magic. Let's apply the fifth rule, compression. Go to effect, volume and compression, compressor, keep the settings like this. Check the compression based on peaks. You can always skip the compression if you don't want to because sometimes preserving the raw unaltered dynamics enhances the authenticity of the performance. Anyway, noise reduction, normalization, equalization, and compression have been applied. This is what we got. You are watching Curiosity Idea Imagination and Designs. Studio quality sound for less than $2. DIY microphone magic. So the sound is dry, that's why the last and final rule, effects and processing. This is basically depends on the surroundings of the character in the footage and personal preference. For example, if he is in the office, we have to make the sound as he is in the office. If he is in a cave, we have to make the sound as he is in the cave. If he is in a studio, we have to make the sound as he is in a studio. Let me show you that. So go to effect tab, delay and reverb, then select the reverb, go to the presets and settings factory presets and then you can see a lot of different sized rooms there for the studio quality touch the vocal one will be the best apply it now let's witness the impact of these settings on our recording quality you are watching curiosity idea imagination and designs studio quality sound for less than two dollars diy microphone magic this is it I hope this will help you some days in your life. This is the only microphone I have to make my videos and this is what I do to get the best sound. I'm just sharing this because I love you guys. You know, someone's secrets, another one's future. Better gears are better and nothing is perfect except what you have. No matter what your gears are, the point is how you use them. If you wanna see me again, you know what to do. This is MM, happy recording, signing up for now.